Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here and welcome to Get Ready With Me Wednesday. Today, we're gonna use my Wicked Widow Lovesick palette that I got in my ice cream beauty box, as well as the Estate highlighter. I'm gonna check out these blushes, maybe check out the liner and the floss gloss. <laughs> so if you wanna see me get ready this morning, then stick around, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back and we're gonna get into this. I used my ColourPop foundation. I used my Complex Culture, Complex Culture Concealer, Gerard Cosmetics eye base. And then I used my Profusion brow palette to do my brows. Is that all I did? No, I did bronzer. I used my Real Her Bronze Beauty Power Wear Ombre Bronzer. In bronze beauty. Let me. She's hard to open sometimes, you guys. That's what she looks like. So, dun 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 dun. All right, now let's get into this Wicked Widow palette. I got like 40 minutes to get ready, so hopefully I can get this done. So this is the front of the palette, and then these are the shades inside. I think I might use this, this, and this, and this. Possibly, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's get into it. Um, what brush do I wanna use? That's that's a good question. All right, we're gonna take the, what is this? Singe Beauty E03 brush. You know you're getting old when you gotta hold stuff out like this to read it. <laughs> All right, so let's go into Worlds Apart. And we're gonna put that, tap it off a little bit. Oh, I'm creasing. No, that's okay. We'll fix that. And then we're just gonna get this into the crease and then we'll deepen it up with letting go, letting go. And then we'll top it off with fall for you. Wow. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Am I centered? Is this looking okay? I don't know. Not much going on this week, guys. Not much at all. Been very busy at work. Very busy because we're getting like a like a new system that we've got to learn. So it's actually pretty cool. Like at first I was a little intimidated. But because um, we had to like watch these videos and watching them like I'm not very good at that <clears throat> when it comes to learning I need to do it so watching the videos I was a little intimidated and I'm like I don't understand what this is um but I made it through the training you know the the little video trainings that we had to do and then um when it went when it kind of we're doing like this practice thing so we, we practice with it every day. And so the more that I'm doing it, like the easier it's getting, you know what I mean? Cause I'm starting to learn it, being able to play with it and stuff. So it's, it's a really cool system. So I'm enjoying it. The only thing is like people, like when you start to learn stuff really good, all right, I'm going into letting go. Um, when you start to learn stuff really good, everybody comes to you to ask questions which can get a little overwhelming at times. You know what I mean? Not that I mind, you know what I mean? It's just, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes, you know, because everybody's looking to you to learn stuff. But it's it's a pretty cool system. It's Once it goes live and we're not practicing with it anymore, I think it's it's gonna be pretty cool. I just think that everybody you know, people get intimidated when there's change and something new. And I think once we really get going on it, I think everybody's going to be like, oh, this is so cool. You know what I mean? How's that looking? I know it's kind of messy out here, but we'll, we'll clean that up. Just trying to deepen it up in here. And then I'll use probably some of that highlighter to 
like highlight the brow bone and, and blend out a little bit up there. I think that's really pretty. I think that's really pretty. I'm wondering if I want to put an eye base down before I put that shimmer on. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of a concealer. I think it looks pretty, though. Let me get that other brush. Where'd that other brush go? There it is. Blend this out a little bit. I'm not putting any other product on it. Just blend, blend, blend. All right, now I'm going to take this Complex Culture Concealer and I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to take this little paintbrush, coat both sides, and then I'm just going to tap it right here for where I want to put that shimmer shade. guys I got the concealer laid down so now I'm gonna go into dun, 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 dun. this is my singe beauty e04 brush I'm gonna dip into the fall for you oh that's it's gonna be pretty and I'm just gonna tap it on that concealer I might want to use a little bit of the memories too maybe put that right here I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of a darker color, so I don't know if I want to do that, but we'll see. Let me get this all laid down and see how we're looking, and then we'll move on from there. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Does it shift? I don't think so. All right, now I'm gonna kinda blend this out a little bit and see if we can make this look a little bit better. How's that looking, guys? I think it'll look, once I get both eyes done and the lower lash line and liner and everything, I think it will come together a little bit better. Let me see where is my, there it is. This is the Singe Beauty E01 brush. I'm going to use that and go into Letting Go. And we're going to put that on the lower lash line. All right, we got that. Now I'm going to go in with the, this is the Singe Beauty E05 brush. And I'm going to go into Worlds Apart, tap it off a little bit, and then we're going to, Blend out the letting go shade. I did pull it up a little bit into the outer V to kind of blend everything together. Let me get that other brush. I think that's looking all right. I'll have to clean it up a little bit, but so far, so good. Maybe I should try the liner. <clears throat> I'm not very good at liquid liner. But we could give it a shot. Hmm. All right. Let's try. It's the, is it Charmacy Long Stay Eyeliner? The, the one side is the duochrome. But I'm going to try the liquid. I'm not very good at this, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just kind of laying it flat and just kind of tapping it because I don't want to, I don't want to mess it up. I'm so not good at this. So not good at this. I'm not going to wing it out because 
my eye shape just doesn't do well with a wing. Can you see that? Hmm. I feel like it looks like it's, I don't know, up there it looks like it's, maybe once I do tight line, it'll look okay. But the shape looks like it's not perfect. Hmm. All right, that's what we're going with. Now, I think I'm going to get off and do the other eye, and then I'll come back and we'll do the blush and the highlight. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and I got both eyes done. Are they looking even? I don't know. Oh, I'm not the greatest with my one liner, but I tried. At least I tried. All right, now, what blush do I want to use? <clears throat> I'm really scared of this one. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna be too much. I'm gonna use this blush brush. This is the Allie Dawson collection from Bling Brushes. It's the F34. So I'm just gonna tap in real lightly. Hmm. I'm afraid to dip any harder. Yeah, I think that's plenty of pigment. I'm sure I could go ham on this, but I'm not trying to. And then I'll use my sponge to kind of tap it out a little bit. It looks pretty though, doesn't it? I think so. This is the Coral Blush from Bow Babe Beauty. Obviously from my Ice Cream Beauty box. I just love ice cream beauty box. Makeup heavy all the time. Very rarely will you get any skincare. I think in the entire time I've been getting ice cream beauty box, I think I've maybe gotten two, maybe three skincare items. And I think I've been getting it for, oh God, two years, I think. Is that looking okay? Did I do too much? Uh, I don't think so. Why does this one look darker than this side? It's probably the lighting, the way that my head's turned. I don't know. All right, that's the blushy blush. Now, let's try this estate highlighter. Let me find my trusty highlighter brush. And I'm going to dip into it and let's see if this will work to blend this out a little bit and highlight the brow bone. Can you see that? Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty, guys. Maybe I'll use this for the inner corner. All right, let's do this other one. that's pretty that's pretty it's not too like wham bam but just enough to give you a little extra something something I really like this look it's so pretty guys it's so pretty let me try a little bit look at that get a little bit right here and down the bridge of my nose just tap it, get a little highlight going on there. Let's try it on the cheek too. Just tap, tap, tap. Mm, that's pretty. Just a little something extra. Nothing like glowing to the gods or anything, but yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Get a little bit on the cupid's bow. All right, that's pretty. 
I think I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to use the Goodnight Moon for the inner corner there because I think this is going to look oops, pretty. Oh, wow. That changed from what it looks like in the pan. It's like white in the pan almost. And now it looks like gold on my eyes. That's crazy. All right, got that a little bit. All right, let me finish up the rest of my look. Wait a minute, let's put some, let's put some lip liner. I'm using this AOA. This has been my go-to lip liner lately. I pulled it out of my stash and I really like the way that it goes on. It's like really creamy and it doesn't like tug and pull like some of my like pencil, wood pencil liners do. Now let's go in with this floss. Floss, gloss. Oh, that's pretty. I think I'm being a little messy. All right, now I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I got like 14 minutes and I got to go. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Alrighty, guys. The look is done. So <clears throat> I use my Wonder Beauty Mile High Club mascara for the upper lashes. I use my Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte for the lower ones. I just kind of run it through like this just to give them a little color. And then for my tight line I use the where did it go the MAC black liner for tight line and then for the water line I used this I can't why did they put silver white writing color pop cream gel liner and this is in movie star oh no that's not the one I used where's the one that I used Oh no, I lost it. Some bitch. Was this the one I used? I don't know. We're going to put it on now. Oh no, that's not the one I used. This one is one of those um, multi-chromes. Oh, that kind of looks cool. I'm glad I did that. Where'd the one I used go? Son of a crap, you guys. Where did I put it? I'm a hot mess express, you guys. Hot mess express. Did I do anything else? No, I don't think so. Let me get my lash curler so I can curl my lashes a little bit before I leave. I like to put my mascara on and let the let it dry a little bit and then curl my lashes like one more time because it gives it a little extra lift especially since I've been using that lash serum. My lashes are like doing pretty good, guys. Doing pretty good. All right, fixed up my hair. I don't, am I looking all right? It's gonna have to do, cause I ain't got time to do much else. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for Get Ready With Me Wednesday. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy this kind of stuff, I hope you'll join the family. We do a lots, lots of different things here. Um, just go down below, hit that subscribe button, and then turn the notification bell up to all. That way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload. If you enjoyed the video, if you enjoy Wicked Widow Beauty, Ice Cream Beauty Box, Charmacy, Bobe Beauty, Floss gloss, you know, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, then uh, thumbs it up and go down below, leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by. I love you all so very much. It's time for me to get out the door. I love you all so very much. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Take care, stay safe, and I hope I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.